On the Buddhist trail, Nick, Easton and Reuben are still ploughing on. Huh? We're going down. Tell me about it. That means we've got to go really up. Oh, yeah. Put the camera away in a minute. Because I'm getting in the killing myself. After 11 toe-bruising hours, they reach the foot of the highest peak. And after another round of prayers, it's the final climb of the day. What Miyagi-san really means is run to the top as fast as you can. It's a steep thousand meter grind. Go! I mean, we're all like super fit and stuff, but um, none of us can run upstairs for a kilometre. Oh my God, Ruben can. Go on, Ruben. Yeah, I'm so thirsty. You did well, good mate. That was good. hard, really hard. Hey, go! Go on, e. Go on, e. Don't pass out. You're near the end. After going off too fast, Easton staggers in. I got half an hour. That was really hard. What a run. Hold on, Miyagi's in. Hey. Reuben, Nick and Easton have made it through three days of the Okugaki. Now they have just one day remaining of the final challenge of their entire journey. I'm a little bit concerned about tomorrow, but... I'm going to the end, not just the end of this one, but the end of the whole four months. The walk tomorrow is the walk towards, you know, that's the finish line, it's just the last bit. It's the final day of the pilgrimage. The group faces another 10 hours along a high ridge, ending at Mount Shakugataki and the Bronze Buddha that marks the end of the Okugaki. But days of trekking in Japanese sandals have ground down the Brits. My left knee's starting to hurt a little bit. Just, I noticed it maybe about half an hour ago, a little tweaks. It's just reminding me that we've been walking for a long time, I think. Every time you go over a rock, it kills me. For the Yamabushi, the struggle is what the Okugaki is all about. Buddhism, they believe that you should fight through the pain and become stronger from it. Just like getting in a waterfall, just like getting in a river, just like looking over a cliff. So when you start aching, they, they believe that you should just embrace the pain, focus past it. After four days and over 50 kilometers of tendon tearing pilgrimage, the end is finally in sight. Months ago, five young men set out on an epic adventure. They've faced their fears. They've wrestled with nature. And they've met men who've taught them what being tough is all about. Now, Easton, Nick and Reuben 
have all made it right through to the very end. I feel like I've achieved something getting here to actually have made it to this. It's very beautiful. It makes you just feel humble, small, living. It's incredible.今日はここでこれから士官をしたいと思います。And so is their epic four-month global challenge. When I first started the walk, I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. But as the walk grew and as the days went by, I felt like I began to understand, and I think I've grown a lot. Eastern completed three challenges in Brazil, Bangladesh, yeah, and Japan. But his five failures... Well done, Easton. You failed again. ...weren't so easy to take. I just feel like the weight of, of expectation of everyone saying, oh, smash it, you want to tear it up, you're going to do this, like... And I haven't. And I feel like, how am I going to go home and... How am I going to go home and show people this? Now, though, Easton thinks he's changed. It's been... Um, life-changing in terms of I've just learned about myself a lot, learned to be a lot calmer and to just take things more in my stride rather than maybe try to always swim upstream. I've had a few points where I just don't know what I'm doing here or why I'm here, but then after doing the big walk and finding out more about the religion, I got more into it. It was a really good way to find a lot out about myself. The group's new age traveller finished four challenges. From Brazil to Siberia. It might have been more if it hadn't been for a few issues with authority. You never listen, OK? But Ruben believes that take... And to do stuff that make you more of a man when you go back to civilization. Just to literally have aged a few years from being 20, I feel maybe 25, 26. It's Nick, though, who's come on the biggest journey of all. Nick's completed seven of the eight challenges, more than any of the group. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure, man. Good job. And if it hadn't been for a monsoon storm in Bangladesh, he might have nailed the lot. It's, been, it's actually been the best, hardest and worst time of my entire life. He's learned a lot about the world and also himself. Who I am is a lot clearer, I think. When I've been trying hard, I get seen as, you know, competitive and throughout this trip, it's, it's, it's really got to me. But the walk has taught me just don't take it to heart. And I'm happy with who I am.